Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to walk you through getting the ArtistPad, the Photoshop CC file uh, set up so you can get started in Photoshop. And this video I'm making for Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Alright, so let's open up presets. By the way, this link you will find in your welcome email. At the very bottom, there is a assets community or access community assets button. So you click on that, it'll bring you to a Google Drive folder, which will have this content in it. Hit presets, art programs, Photoshop Justice, and then Photoshop CC.ini, this file right here is the one that we're going to be using. So uh, we're going to go ahead and copy this to our desktop. And you can put copy and then paste. Uh, or you can just leave it right here. You don't even have to copy it to the desktop. And we're going to go into Tablet Pro. And we're going to choose uh, settings. In the artist pad settings, we're going to choose load preset. By the way, this advanced template right here is almost the same thing as the Photoshop CC file. Okay, we're going to go to our desktop. Uh, in my case, we're going to go to the directly into the Google Drive folder. And we're going to choose preset Photoshop CC. We're going to choose open and apply. Now, in order to activate it, you can either go up here to the quick panel, or right down here to the Tablet Pro icon. Uh, if you right click on that and you choose Artist Pad, that should load the Artist Pad right there so you can get started. Now, this is definitely, definitely my favorite Artist Pad. It's pretty phenomenal. I spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time getting that one to work the way that I wanted. Alright, so at this point, uh, you can, and by the way, I have this set up so you can do uh, both of these, but you will need, uh, in order to do this, you'll need a couple other things set up, uh, namely having a gesture. Uh, I'll just show you that real quickly. Uh, so let's hide that. Namely, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a gesture that's set up to show hide artist pad. I have swipe right. So all you do is hit select in here. It's part way down on the first page. Show hide artist pad. Click OK. Click apply. And then if you're already in full screen mode, just do that gesture and you're gonna see that functioning right there. Uh, I like having both things open at the same time. Uh, also, you're gonna wanna have transparent pen input on. And this way you can use the pen and touch differently, as well as the artist pad and all of those simultaneously, uh, as long as you're using the creator's update, the newest versions of the creator's update. Uh, from what I understand, that works on almost all the computers, but specifically works great on Entrig. And I'll need to hear more feedback from everybody else on whether that works for, for you guys the same way on other devices. All right, so you'll see the pen is tracking with the pen touch is moving the pointer independently and then you're able to um, oh, let's see you can tap and use the the keys um, you're not going to see anything probably here you want to do it in Photoshop um, you want to also keep in mind uh, that inside of Photoshop there's a couple settings that you're going to need to match up with this so uh, let's see I know that there's a way to, to send or to copy the layout file, like I have a user file inside of Photoshop that has all my shortcuts and settings enabled. So I go to Window, Workspace, Tablet Pro, my Tablet Pro Workspace has everything set up the way I want. And I'd like to be able to just 
uh, quickly and easily send that to people that would like to use it. So, um, let's say I have a file open. Uh, Alright, so anyway, here's, here's what you gotta do. So you go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and we're gonna go ahead and pull up our artist pad and in the window here at the bottom there's going to be options for whatever you want to bring up I do not use brush anymore uh, I use only presets because the presets the tool presets I think are far more powerful if you're not using those yet I would highly recommend it um, Kyle's brushes uh, he sells us a very inexpensive pack of presets and it's kylesbrushes.com uh, but tool presets um, if there's no shortcut here just tap the preset button so here I'll, I'll give a demonstration tap the preset button and it's going to show you the uh, button it's going to input that correct thing swatches just tap here and tap the swatch button uh, colors same thing I actually don't use colors anymore either I and mean, I use colors but that's <laughs> But what I mean is I don't I don't use that shortcut anymore. Uh, I really just use swatches and then adjust the color um, through blending and a couple other modes. All right, so um, you do that. That's going to help you get that part. The other the other thing that I I always adjust. Let's go up to the very beginning. I'm not sure why this is not this way by default, but step backward instead of a single undo is far more practical so you're just gonna hit step backwards and hit the undo button it's basically saying oh, you've already done that so undo redo just leave that alone click step backwards hit the undo button and accept the uh, the changes and you want to hit accept and OK and I think then you should be fairly set I hope that helps and uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section or send me an email at justice at tabletpro.com.